Hello guys, whether you're searching for a simple, low-cost drone or something more advanced to get you started, this video is going to help as it covers all of the finest beginner drone options available. So, if you are more comfortable with the controls, have a look at our list of the finest drones for every style of flyer. DJI Mini 3 DJI's latest compact drone is the finest model for novices ever. The DJI Mini 3, like its predecessors, is a lightweight flying aircraft with a tiny folding body, easy to use controls, and handy automatic filming modes. Like its predecessors, it lacks collision avoidance which is only available in the Pro version for a premium. But it proved to be a high quality drone in testing. We found it easy to operate with the stock controller, which is the same as the one included with the Mini 2. Drift was only an issue in the most windy conditions. While it lacks the log profiles featured on DJI's premium drones, we discovered that its 11.3 inch sensor, which is larger than the DJI Mini 2, shot crisp 4K 30p footage that was outstanding overall. It also stood out for its ability to swivel its 1280p sensor to portrait mode for social media photography. If you currently own a DJI Mini 2, upgrading is less attractive. However, if you're looking for a well-built, feature-packed beginning drone, this is the finest option. DJI Mini 4 Pro The Mini 4 Pro is an evolutionary update of the Mini 3 Pro, featuring the same f1.7 aperture camera and 1.1.3-inch sensor. Our testing shows that it generates good quality 12 mm p 48 mm p photographs in RAW and JPEG formats, with very low noise up to ISO 6400. Filmmakers benefit from a few enhancements, including 4K footage at up to 100 FPS and the D-Log M color profile, which makes the Mini 4 Pro an appealing alternative as a secondary drone to a pro-level Mavic 3 series model, where color constancy is readily attained. Any dissatisfaction over the perceived lack of camera enhancements should be alleviated by the Mini 4 Pro's flight and safety capabilities. The Mini 4 Pro offers omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, as the Mini 3 Pro has tri-directional obstacle avoidance, better subject tracking capabilities, and a longer transmission range of up to 20 kilo, depending on your region and what is legally permitted. This sub 250 g drone is on another level from the rest of the drones in this guide and it's so fantastic that you'll wonder if you need to register a drone again. Autel Robotics EVO Nano Plus The Autel EVO Nano Plus competes with DJI's Mini 4 Pro in the Sub-250G drone segment. That is no simple task, especially since the latter is so near to perfection. To its credit, the EVO Nano Plus is a capable novice drone in its own right. During our tests, we discovered that its sensor outperformed our current top recommendation for novices, the DJI Mini 3, in terms of low-light capabilities. It's also quite comparable in windy situations. That makes it an easy suggestion for us, especially if you enjoy photographing sunsets and twilight cityscapes, or if you require a high-performance drone that satisfies Europe's important weight constraints. Admittedly, the Mini 4 Pro has the upper hand here. However, the Evo Nano Plus should see refinements over time as Autel adds new features and improves through firmware updates. And, if you're searching for a great alternative to DJI's products, this should be at the top of your list. BTAF PV ELR's Cetus EX If you want to test flying an FPV drone, we believe the Beta FPV Cetus X kit is an excellent choice. The package includes everything you need for first-person flight, including a transmitter and a basic set of goggles. More powerful than models such as the Cetus Pro, we discovered that its many flight modes and speed settings make it an FPV drone that can be expanded with. During our review, we found that mastering the manual acro mode required patience. Crashes are also unavoidable, and while the frame is designed to absorb impacts, it cracked during our testing. Still, if you have the guts to stick it out without getting motion sickness, the Cetus X will present you with an immersive flying experience. We did notice that the video stream was prone to breakup and interference, and while the built-in DVR can record flight feeds, this is not a drone for still photography. The battery life was extremely disappointing, lasting only 5 minutes. However, with enough power to perform simple freestyle stunts and everything included to get airborne, this is our favorite FPV kit for beginners. Potensic Atom C not to be confused with the Potensic Atom SE, the updated Atom is released a year later and fixes the Atom SE's problems, placing it between the DJI Mini 2 SE and the DJI Mini 3. It's a fantastic beginner drone that, according to our review, offers a performance that belies its low cost and the combo kit that includes two additional batteries, a fast charging hub with a power adapter, and a carry case, in addition to the generous accessories that come standard. The Atom's highlights include manual camera control, raw 12mm-p photographs, 4K video up to 30fps, and a mechanical 3-axis gimbal. 
All of these features are rare in a beginner drone at this price level. The mechanical gimbal produces smoother video recording than the Atom SE, and users like the improved GPS accuracy and intelligent flight capabilities such as topic tracking. The Atom drone isn't perfect, its lens focus is fixed, there's no obstacle avoidance, and there are no ND filters to modify shutter speed for filming in strong light. However, Potensic's best ever drone is an excellent value and a legitimate DJI alternative. Kadawl. Finally, we have the Kadawl drone for kids and adults. This Kadawl drone is really easy to use. You can simply hit the one key start landing button to begin flying. It has a 4K Wi-Fi camera that allows you to shoot better aerial images and films. And with FPV transmission, you can see the sky via a live video stream on your smartphone app. Its altitude hold feature keeps the drone at a specific height, making it easy to control and capture high quality footage. It also has a low power alert, an emergency stop button, and four propeller guards to ensure a safe flying, as well as two rechargeable and powerful batteries that support up to 20 minutes of flight time. We also appreciated its voice operate and gesture selfie, as it would allow to operate the drone with simple voice remarks like takeoff and landing. And you can post a V sign or palm in front of the camera and the drone will automatically snap images or videos, making it good for selfie. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video. Also, guys, subscribing is fun, so to receive updates on our most recent videos, please subscribe, like, and click the bell icon. Thank you for watching.